It gives me great pleasure to now make welcome the Honorable Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, Dr. Doris Aniti, who is ably represented today by Olufemi Adelui, PhD. A round of applause for him. He'll be bringing the good wishes of the Honorable Minister, who is unavoidably absent. Thank you very much for joining us today. We are indeed happy that you're here. Come on, let's show them our Zenibank Tech love. Good morning, everyone. Can you hear me? All right, thank you so much. Thank you for the warm introduction. Um, I bring you warm greetings from my boss, the Honorable Minister of Industry, Trade, and Investment. She's unavoidably absent, like you heard. Her heart is with Zenit. She's Zenit. She's part of Zenit family, so she, you know that she will have wanted to be here. But national assignments had to take her out of the country. I am Dr. Femi Adiri. I'm the national coordinator of the National Talent Export Program, and I'll be representing her. Now, let's talk tech. I'm very delighted to give a goodwill message at this premier event, as I had the opportunity to initiate this tech fair and launch the Made in Edition on the 27th of November 2019 at the Landmark Event Center in Victoria Island, Lagos. It is such a joy to see the fair that the fair has grown to become a reference point in Nigeria's burgeoning tech and fintech ecosystem. The first edition was barely a month before the onset of COVID-19. We all remember that pandemic and has literally changed how the world interacts. Interestingly, our choice of the theme Future Forward really served to prepare us as a nation for the future of tech in the banking world and beyond. I heartily congratulate the founder and chairman of Zenit Bank, Mr. Jim Ovia, the group managing director and CEO, Dr. Ebenezer Onyago, the Deputy Managing Director, Dame Dr. Adaura Umioji, who is joining us online, and all other members of the Zeni team for the sustained success of the conference. I think Zeni Bank deserves a round of applause there. <laughs> now I'm going to talk a little about the nexus between technology, trade, and talent. You know my boss is now in charge of trade for the country. In my role as the Minister of Industry, Trade, and Investment, and as a keen tech enthusiast, I am ever aware of the key role that technology plays in the facilitation of um, trade and the role it plays in shaping the demand for talent. As such, I will speak briefly about the nexus between technology, trade, and talent. How technology drives trade. Trade is a critical component of the global economy, and it plays a key role in fostering economic growth and development. It allows for exchange of goods, and services between nations, which not only enhances economic activity, but also leads to greater efficiency in production and resource allocation. Specialization driven by the comparative advantage of different countries results in a more, distribution, a more dis effective distribution of resources, contributing significantly to the global economic landscape. Now some numbers. The landscape of global trade in services is substantial with exports estimated at $7.13 trillion and imports at $6.6 trillion. In 2022, the value of world commercial services trade surged by 15% to reach $6.8 trillion. Notably, and that's why this conference is very important, digitally delivered services exports accounted for $3.82 trillion in the same year, representing 54% of the total global service exports. Key sectors contributing to this growth include business, professional and technical services, computer services, financial services, and intellectual property related services. The World Economic Forum reports anticipate that e-commerce and digital trade will be embraced by 75% of businesses marking a significant shift towards digital platforms. E-commerce and digital platforms have transformed the landscape of international trade. Business can now reach global markets more efficiently, leading to increased trade volumes. Important technologies like AI, many of the things that have been discussed here, and the Internet of Things have optimized supply chains, reduced costs, and improved the efficiency of cross-border trade. In particular, generative AI or Gen AI is becoming a vital part of the global trade ecosystem. Gen AI refers to the type of AI, artificial intelligence, that is used to generate new content 
without human intervention, such as text, images, and even music. According to a 2023 study by Goldman Sachs, Gen AI is expected to increase the global GDP by 7%, and that's about 7 trillion, and boost productivity growth by 1.5%. Any of us that has been following global trends, tech news in the last one week, will understand that AI has become very prime, and that's why it has taken the space. Such is the importance of AI that global tech news for the last one week has been dominated by the story of, who knows? OpenAI. Sam Altman was sacked as the CEO of OpenAI. Then he was hired by Microsoft's new AI team, only to be restored as the CEO of OpenAI. Why? 500 employees said they were going to leave, and they had to call him back. So AI is important not just in core tech, but it's also going to transform and revolutionize everything, including banking. Now let's talk a little bit about skills. Shift in skills and talent dynamics. His Excellency President Bola Ahmed Tinubu GCFR has prioritized the creation of jobs. For these jobs to be created sustainably, there's a need to ensure that the abundant talent we have in Nigeria are prepared for the jobs, not of the past, not even of the present, but jobs of the future, through the acquisition of globally relevant skills and certifications. In every sector, there's a noticeably, a noticeably shift in demand for new skills, leading to the emergence um, and decline of various jobs and skills within the labor market. To stay competitive, both economies and businesses must swiftly adapt to these changes. These include tapping into new talent pools equipped with the required skills, enabling a seamless transition from traditional economic models to more modern digitally focused ones. According to the World Economic Forum reports of um, 2023, the Future of Jobs report, the labor market, especially in high income countries, is experiencing a strong recovery phase a significant challenge encountered in 2022 across various sectors was the issue of labor shortages, which led to substantial production difficulties. Notably, around 33% of firms in manufacturing and services sectors reported facing these challenges. Furthermore, the issue of unfilled job vacancies remains prevalent. For instance, in the United States, 70% of the roles in retail and wholesale sectors are vacant, the manufacturing sector exhibits a 55% vacancy rate, and the leisure and hospitality sectors are experiencing a 45% shortfall in filling positions. Now, the minister is, has set up what we call the Industrial Revitalization Roadmark, and a little will be said about that. The federal government is committed to leveraging technology to revitalize the industries in Nigeria and ensure that Nigeria has a massive pool of highly skilled talent that can both power our industries and support our talent export prospects. To this end, a Presidential Council on Industrial Revitalization Roadmap was established to diversify Nigeria's economic base, emphasize trade expansion, catalyze robust uh, industrial development, and escalate both domestic and international investments. The committee has also the following subcommittees. It has consumer credit, commodity exchange, heavy industry and steel in, um, development, trade facilitation and ease of doing business, licensing and certification of artisans, trade facilitation and realization, mining in solid minerals, oil and gas, and creative industries. Truly, tech will serve as a key enabler of all these sectors. For example, we shall use AI for enhancing vocational training, testing, and certification of artisans. We will also ensure that our talent pool have the relevant tech skills to make sure that as the theme of these conferences, they are future forward ready. In conclusion, I would like to invite the vibrant ecosystem participating in this conference to partner with us in our bid to utilize tech to upskill our national talent and facilitate trade. We recognize that the private sector and tech ecosystem has a key role to play in the success of our programs and we are looking forward to such mutually beneficial partnerships. I wish the startups a successful outing, and I want to congratulate Zeni Bank again for successfully hosting Tech Fair 3.0. We look forward to many more successful editions of the conference. Thank you for your kind attention.